Hi, Jeremy. I'm Dr. B. Hi. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, looks like you made it through the surgery okay, and we'll just have you here recovering, which is excellent. Um, looking at the doctor's notes, everything went well. The appendix came out without issue. Um, you should be feeling a lot less pain, discomfort after um, that laparoscopic scar heals. Sh really shouldn't be um, too intense, but before we discharge you here, I just have to do a full check head to toe to make sure everything's um, functioning as normal, okay? Okay. Um, but we should be able to get you home today. So I'll start up with your vital signs and just relax. Just have you um, take the finger out from the blanket here. Just put that on there and just relax. Okay, I'm gonna take your temperature as well. Let's do this side. Okay. 99.2, so it is slightly elevated, which isn't abnormal after surgery. You have just been through a lot, your body's still recovering. And oxygen levels looks good. Pulse is a nice and normal range, high 70s, okay. So take your um, uh, arm blood pressure. So is this arm okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I know my hands are cold. Try and warm them up for you a little bit here. And just relax. Perfect. Okay. Uh, stethoscope here. Just breathe normal and relax. You will feel some tightening right around the arm. Take that one more time. Blood pressure is slightly elevated. I'll just make a note of that in your chart. And you can put the arms underneath if you'd like to stay warm here. Okay, I'm gonna take some pulses now. I'm placing my hands on you. Up here, I'm going to be feeling lymph nodes. Checking for anything swollen that might be a sign of infection. There is always a risk with any sort of surgery for a secondary infection, so we just want to make sure there's no signs of that. Cervical chain. Shrug your shoulders gently for me, please. Thank you. Okay, 
Relax. While I'm up here, I'm just going to feel the head for any bumps or bumps. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Any headaches post-surgery? Oh, um, no. swelling, pain. Any pain down the spine when I press on the head like this? Oh, no. Okay. What about when I pull up? Any discomfort there? No. Okay. Just checking the integrity of the spine. Nerves there. Look at the face. The eyes closed. Paying particular attention to the nose and the eyes where we had some, we had the mask for the anesthetic, looking for any capillary breaks or anything like that. check the strength of the face, make sure we didn't damage any of the cranial nerves, and you push down with your jaw, and up against my hand, um, more like forwards, yeah, perfect, to the side, and this side, okay, you lift your eyebrows up, okay, nice and strong, and symmetry is good, pop your cheeks out for me, okay, relax. Now look into the eyes, so I want you to gently open your eyes and just stare. Um, and just stare at the ceiling is perfect, actually. Okay. Make sure that the nerves are functioning and there was no um, broken blood vessels or anything during the surgery. So just keep them closed for a moment and then open them and I'm going to get quite close when you're ready. I'll do the same thing with the other eye. And open. That's fine. Take a look into the ear. Brush tab here. Whisper something, I just want you to repeat what I say. Six, five, L. Six, five, L. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm just going to be checking inside the ear. Any pain? No. Repeat after me. Perfect. 
so that's all fine. So we'll just stick with the quick exam since it's just a post-op assessment. Um, but if anything does change with the hearing, let me know. All right, open the mouth for me, please, and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Good, good. Okay, just feeling around here. I'm gonna put a glove on and just check the inside of the mouth. We did have a breathing tube in, so make sure there's no abrasions, lesions, anything like that in there. Okay, open again for me. Okay, that's fine. Looks totally normal. Okay, just feel like the jaw muscles open and close. Just make sure we didn't do any damage to the jaw here. Open and close for me, please. Nothing major, just a little bit of clicking. That was noted before, mm -hmm. normal for you. All right, moving down. Just gonna feel the joints here. Make sure there's no stiffness or rigidity. That could be other signs of infection. I'm gonna check the skin as well for any sort of rash, color discoloration. I'll check the nails while I'm down here. Any pain in the joints? Okay. The other side for me, please. Okay, I'm just checking the chest wall here. I'm gonna tap on you. If there's any fluids or build up in the lungs. And if I just roll this down a little. You say 99? 99. One more time. 99. Like a listen. So we take a couple of deep breaths here. So deep breath. And out. Does that cause any pain in that site down by the belly button? No. Okay, good. This side. And out. Here, in. Out. In. Listen to the heart now, just breathe normally. Just using the other side. And the carotid is going to feel cold on the neck, okay? to move down to the stomach area now and that is where we had that incision so I'm just gonna feel very gently I'm gonna look underneath the shirt just like that okay bandage looks well placed we'll need to change that probably one or two more times but it's a very small incision so I'm gonna gently palpate here for any swelling any sign that there's still an issue or fluid buildup or anything like that. Any pain here? No. Okay, gentle taps. There is now that bit of um, dullness in the resonance where the um, appendix used to be. Just gonna go a little deeper here. Okay, I'm gonna 
Allison. Sounds are heard in all four quadrants. Everything sounds normal there. So that pain has dissipated now that the appendix is out. Yeah. I'll cover you up here. Just relax. I'm gonna feel underneath for the kidneys. Pain here, tenderness here? No. Okay, good. Come on the other side. Do your reflexes. Want to make sure that all is functioning well. So just completely relax. Go loose for me. Yep, right up there is perfect. Just right up on the stomach. Go. Let me make the movements. There you go. Perfect. So those are all fine. got a couple of um, stimuli here and I want to test for your sensory and I'm sorry I am gonna have run that down your arms again okay so starting out on the arms just tell me if you feel um, soft like this or sharp like that feel the difference mm -hmm. okay. soft sharp soft soft sharp Unlock your hands for me. It's good, just like that. Yeah, perfect. Sharp. Sharp. Soft. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Soft. Sharp. Okay, good. Do it on the face. Soft. Soft, sharp, soft, 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 sharp, okay. soft, soft, sharp, sharp. Okay, just turning the head gently. Sharp, sharp. Soft, 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 sharp. All right. I'm just going to sanitize my hands. Any issues with the lower body joints? anything like that? Um, no. Okay. Not as concerned about those, but if you notice um, any changes in um, temperature, any rashes, anything like that on the upper or lower body, um, please give your physician a call. Um, but generally we worry about things sort of more in the area where the surgery took place as mm -hmm. well as the lymphatic system, things like that. In fact, let me just check a couple of the lymph nodes here in the arms. You're fine right there. Just make sure there's no swelling. Okay. 
I don't feel any, can't palpate anything. Um, so I want to ask you just a couple of neurological questions to end off our exam to make sure that you are fit to um, leave the hospital on your own. Um, do you have someone picking you up? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so either way, uh, we just want to make sure that you're of sound body and mind and that you can um, comfortably discharge yourself or, or agree to be discharged. Okay. Um, so I just want you to add a couple of numbers for me. Mm -hmm. Starting out, can you put seven uh, and eight together? Fifteen. Okay, and then add another eight. Twenty-three. Okay, great. Uh, what day of the week is it? Tuesday. Tuesday, good. About what time of day? It's about 10 a.m. Okay, and do you remember why you came into the hospital? Uh, my appendix. Your appendix was hurting? Well, it was removed. Okay, and what um, what occurred yesterday uh, with with your appendix Why when you were in the hospital? Uh, my appendix burst. Okay, and we had to remove it. Yes. So all of this is not news to you. You're aware of the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, seems like you're pretty sound of mind. You know where you are. Um, do you know your first name? Jeremy. Okay. So you know who you are, um, and you have a safe place to go to after this mm -hmm. to recover. All right. So I want you to um, just recover for a few days, relax, no heavy lifting. Uh, it could tear that um, small stitch that we put in the laparoscopic at your belly button, um, reaching up, bending over, things like that to avoid. Just for a few days while it heals, it really shouldn't continue to have any sort of discharge or oozing. So if that does happen, that's a sign of an infection. We want you to come back in, get mm. that looked at. Uh, other things to do is just um, plain foods, just your stomach's still just a little bit tender. Um, I did feel just a little bit of bloating, um, but that is, of course, to be expected. You've just went through kind of an ordeal, um, and you also want to slowly reintroduce foods because we've had you on a plain food diet here at the hospital for the last 48 hours, okay? Um, any other questions, um, any ch changes to um, bowel movements, urination, anything like that since you've been here? No. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and approve your discharge, um, but I do want you to come back for a checkup in about a week, um, but you can schedule that with your normal physician, okay? Sounds great. Well, I hope that you feel better. I'm sorry that you had to deal with uh, the pain of an upburst appendix, but I'm glad that we got you all fixed up. Thank you so much. Thank you.